I'll just follow this. It's being weird about that Oh, because my new phone, for some reason the service is worse than the new phone. It's about right. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so we just got to the first spot. Haven't done any kind of recording yet because we're just trying to get out here, but Amanda's already caught the first uh, gray snapper. Pull it up. Alrighty, so first fish is in the boat, which we ain't got skunked. I'll put this camera down and get the uh, fish off for him. Unfortunately, he's not big enough to keep, so we're gonna have to put him back. Oh, I got a bite. Yeah, wall. Something's definitely biting. This kind of feels a little heavier than last time. I don't know what this is, but it's definitely heavier. This is a keeper. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Don't break the rod. Yeah, we learned it last time, remember? So here's the first keeper we caught. Amanda caught it. I'm just holding it because she won't hold her own fish. But uh, yeah, he's 12 inches. He's legal. He's so, uh, known here as a gray snapper, also a mangrove snapper, and uh, they're year round. So we're going to keep him in the, uh, in the box. The box. Nice and cold. And you just tighten up your little line. Oh, yes, but oh, yes, it's all tight. Uh, he might be a little too tight. Can measure him? Uh, he can measure him. Oh, I wasn't able to jerk it. Another great snapper. I don't think we're gonna be able to keep him though. Unfortunately. Another one. Can't keep him though. Keeper though. Put that one on. up just uh, one mangrove snapper uh, keeper that we call we ended up catching a fair amount of fish and uh, you know if you made it this far in the video I really appreciate it I know that there wasn't that much to show on the, uh, the fishing trip uh, this time it was actually my birthday the day that we went out so the big thing for me was just going out with Amanda having a good time having fun and um, 
you know, so I didn't really get to film as much as I would have liked, but we had a really great time. And like I said, if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. So we decided to do a, uh, we're gonna make this into a catch and cook video since we didn't actually get to film a whole lot because, you know, I was trying to just enjoy the day. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mangrove snapper and uh, Amanda is going to uh, cook it up for us. Yeah. So we'll see how she does. And I'm sure it'll be good. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, little snapper flays. Um, like I said, this came off just one fish, and um, it's not, a, you know, they're not a whole lot of meat. This one was right at the legal limit. I think it was about 12 or 13 inches. Normally, you want to catch multiple snappers to really have a good meal, but honestly, one snapper um, is enough to feed one person for sure, especially with both flays off both sides. So this is going to be my lunch for today. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't catch enough, like I said, to make us both the lunch, but one of us is gonna, we'll probably have to split it. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably split the snapper. We might. But uh, we're gonna cook some sides with it. And uh, and yeah, we're about to start cooking. And I'll uh, let you guys see what she does with it. Just like to put a little olive oil in, just like keep the fish good and oily, like especially since I'm gonna fry it this time. And while that's heating up a little bit, I go ahead and put a little bit of butter in because I want it to, I don't like my fish to stick. So with these in particular, smoked paprika, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's always really good to put on some fish. Ooh, that went over. It's gonna be real paprika. Gonna be a little, a little paprika. How would you say that? Is it paprika? Paprika, I think. Okay, I like these. These give it a little bit of flavor. This right, you don't need a lot of them, but it gives it just a little bit of like. I guess zest, you could say. You can kind of smell it. Yeah, it kind of gives that little bit of zest. It's got a strong smell. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of these leaves. I just kind of sprinkle it all over. I don't use measurements and stuff like that. I don't, so you just put a little bit in there. Um, garlic powder, which I'm about out of, but you can't go wrong with garlic powder on everything. I'm telling you. And... Also onion powder. All right, so a little onion powder. And it don't take a lot because you don't want to overdo it. Like you still want to have that fish like taste obviously. So you don't want to overdo it. And then of course, thyme leaves. It just takes a little bit. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Season it up, sprinkle it all. That should be enough on that. Next thing I would do is salt and pepper. I like sea salt, that's what I use. You don't, depend on if, if you like salt and pepper. I like salt and pepper. It just gives it that little, the rest of what you need really. So just a little. And also I would suggest if you really want to make the fish like good and like filling, because if you have a small fish like this, that's not going to be enough to fill you up, obviously. So um, this right here is always good to put in with it. Like, Heat it up, takes like two minutes. Once your water starts boiling, dip it in, put a little butter in, stir it all up together. The butter in the herb is the best one to me, especially with fish. So that will like kind of give it that, at least you'll get full with a little filet like that. Yeah, you definitely can't go wrong and put some carbs in there like she's saying, because we, we actually didn't have many sides in the cabinet, unfortunately, but um, Literally, so all we're gonna end up eating is just the fish filet and then the potatoes and, you know, we'll put the fish filet on top of the potatoes and just eat it that way. Carbs are, uh, they're definitely feeling, you know, mashed potatoes aren't the healthiest thing in the world, but like I said, if you're just eating meat on that one side, you know, and, you, and like she said, you're trying to make it filling, it uh, kind of makes sense to have something a little more, um, a little more, uh, that's what I'm looking for here, a little more, a little bit heavier, you know, a little bit of a heavier food, so. So, with a little packet like that, you just want like two cups of water, and you go ahead and get that on the boil. Um, so it's gonna be heating up while this is working. Um, I always add a little bit of milk to my mashed potatoes and butter. I don't know how y'all do it at your house, but that's how I do it at mine. So again, no measuring cups, you just dump it in. Yeah. Flying by the seat of our pants around Yeah, here. that's how you do it in the South if you didn't know. You, yeah. just, you just wing it. Just eyeball it. You eyeball it. Oops, that'll be okay. Just 
put some extra <laughs> extra butter in our fish pan for us. I think I always dip it out and put it in there if you yeah. want to. And I don't know why, but it seems like every time I cook and add a little salt to boiling water, it just like doesn't boil over. Um, for some reason, I think really? the salt. I swear, I, I think the that. salt like. For it like it just the water will not boil over near as bad like and you can if you cook at home you'll know what i'm talking about just add a little salt to your water trust me all right so we're gonna let this stuff uh start boiling and get nice and hot because we want that pan uh really really hot when we put the fish on for it to sear really well and uh, once that gets done we'll be right back all right my pan is good and hot uh, and so i'm gonna go ahead and start um, putting the fish in so they're gonna blacken up real good uh, It really doesn't take long for fish to cook in a pan like this. So I would say like Couple minutes. Maybe two minutes on each side, yeah. especially with a small fillet like this I personally like the black the more blackened you get it the better. I like it So that's how you but it really just depends on what you like. So um, I'm gonna start with my season side and I'm just going to flip those little pieces over like that in about two minutes, I would say, on each side. You can already see the white. Yeah, the it's white not going to take long. It's already white on that one side. And these fillets are also so thin that it's not like she said it's not going to take long. But the thing is, you want your pan really, really hot because the Schmagro snapper is a pretty uh, firm fish, especially with like less firm fish. Really, any fish, really, you want the pan really hot so that way that meat cooks quick, it hardens. So that way when you go to flip it, it doesn't tear apart so easy. Yeah, this is kind of a tougher fish, so it's yeah. not gonna... A macro um, snapper, for it being as tough as it is, example, is pretty good. Flounder is very flat. If you go to flip flounder, you, you better flounder. be ready. You, you can't gotta... do it with no fork. Yeah, she's right. Flounder, flounder. you want. You definitely want to bake flounder. If we have all uh, learned that for sure. I know a lot of people don't really like the blend line in their fish, but honestly, on these mangrove snappers, they, they just never really bothered me. They're I never really, and they've never tasted too fishy to me. Especially when you black them like this. There's so much side. flavor. Like I said, I like mine really blackened, so to yeah. me, and you can just see the spices. Those are just a lot of the spices that are cooking in. Mm -hmm. um, I would do about a minute, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes on this side, and then that you're done with your fish and then you just wait on your mashed potatoes. Because like I said earlier, this isn't gonna, uh, that's not gonna be enough to fill you up because it's just a small fillet. So the mashed potatoes, and it goes really good with the fish also. So if you're not sure, like, if you're like, I don't know what to do, uh, green beans and fish ain't gonna fill me up, this will. Yeah, mashed potatoes is a great option. All right, well, now my water's boiling on my mashed potatoes. And like I said earlier, just throw you a little dab of salt in there before you see this is why. It doesn't boil over near as bad. Like you can see it's not like, but I mean, of course it's gonna foam up. I'm gonna move this over this way. Um, now, once you go to pour in, you wanna be careful because that will pop back out on you and you don't want like burning mashed potatoes on your skin. So like, yeah, be aware of that. I'm just gonna let it cool for a very second. Good. All right, so a spoon. And you just dump it in. Stir it. And let it cook. Yeah. And it still get thicker as you stir. Alrighty, so now we got the mashed potatoes are done also. Well, once it's all finished with, I always just put the mashed potatoes in the middle of the plate and just put your fillets on top of the mashed potatoes. It's all seasoned up good, so you don't want to really do overdo your mashed potatoes because you have enough seasoning already on the fish itself. And then just eat. After that, you're good to go. Quick, little, easy, filling meal. All right. Yeah, time First for the bite, taste test. Time for the true test, right here. This is a really good meal, by the way. Like, just the, for some, it's something about mashed potatoes and fish just go really good together. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's good. The thing too about the, the mangrove snapper is, like I said before, you can tell whenever you're cooking it, it's a really firm fish. And it's even firm, you know, it's. It's flaky but firm whenever you're eating it as well. So it gives it that nice texture. 
So pretty much all the spices you put on there, you can pretty much taste all those individually. There's quite a mixture of spices on it, but like she was saying, you don't want to overdo really any of them. So that way it's not, you know, overbearing. And like she was saying about the mashed potatoes, you really don't need to season the mashed potatoes because you have that, that spice on the fish, the, all the butter is going to get into the fish, that olive oil is going to drain under those mashed potatoes and it's going to spice it up plenty for you. But this is a really, you know, this isn't like some five star chef recipe or anything, but as far as like just going out and catching fish and wanting like an easy recipe that you, anybody can do, right? You know, you may want to play with your seasonings, do different types of things. A lot of, a lot of, you know, you can go to the store nowadays, you can just buy uh, all around seafood seasoning and just use that and blacken them that way, like some blackening seasoning. That's one thing I like, I love so much about fish is that you can get as fancy with it or not fancy as you want to, and it almost always tastes great. As long as you cook it all the way through like it's supposed to be cooked, you keep the fish together so like it doesn't fall apart in the pan, that can kind of ruin ruin your meal a little bit and that all depends on the type of fish you're cooking and uh you have a good side with it like i said we didn't have any you know good size to make with this today so we knew it was a small fish and to make sure that i'm going to get filled up on it we put some mashed potatoes in there you know to help with that those mashed potatoes are really going to help fill me up so like i said this is a really good meal anybody can cook it tastes great and you know i don't think you're gonna have many people eat this and complain too much about it and it's always fun to be able to go, you know, we caught this fish, what, last weekend? Last weekend, we caught this fish, we harvested it, we know, you know, where we got it from. We didn't go buy it from the store, so that's always a big plus, too. Hopefully, next time we uh, go, we'll catch some more fish. You know, maybe the fishing part will be a little more interesting than it was on this video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you enjoy this kind of content, check out some of my other videos. Consider subscribing to the channel, join the Femfolk Legion. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat the rest of this food and see you guys on the next one. And tea and rum. One day when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take.